Hello, this is Nancy Nathini coming to you from the O'Neill Center for a gentle yoga class. If you have some music, you can play it in the background, but we will just do our moves. But remember, yoga is three things. It is breathing, stretching, and relaxing. There's nothing else to it. It's not any form of religion or anything else. Nothing to be scared of. Everybody can breathe, stretch, and relax. And this time, with this going on, we need to relax for sure. So when we breathe, we want to breathe in the nose and out the mouth. And you want to do it slowly. You can let your hands rest on your belly because you want to feel that belly expand with your breath. So you want to take your breath in through your nose. See how my belly expanded? And then when you exhale, pull that belly button in, push it out. You've got a lot of oxygen and air in those lungs that haven't been moving around. So let's get that moving. Slowly in and out. I will be narrating the whole time, so if you want to close your eyes and relax about this, you can, but if you need to watch, that's okay too. In your nose and out your mouth. Make sure you're sitting on a sturdy chair, kitchen chair, something that doesn't have arms, so you may need to go to a kitchen. Nothing high like a bar stool or anything, a low chair, with no arms, but on a sturdy surface that's not going to move, not going to slide, and it's not going to fold or collapse on you, okay? So let your hands, your palms rest on your lap as you take that breath in. And exhale. Take two more breaths at your pace. is your breath. You're getting that breath moving. You're oxidizing your body. And you're relaxing while you're doing it. Let your hands hang on the side. And remember to breathe during your movements. We're going to bring our arms out to the side, out to each side. You're going to have your palms turning up, inhaling. As you exhale, turn your palms down and let them drop slowly back to your side. Let's do that two more times on your own or with me. Just remember to breathe throughout your movements. I'm talking so my breath isn't always as routine and regular as yours is, so inhale. Gently bring one arm up, overhead. Your arm is over your head, but let's reach that further. Extend this part of your body. My arm's here over my head, but I can reach it up higher. And then arch over. You can hold on to the bottom of your chair, and then come back up. Do that again with the other side. Bring that arm up, and then extend it further. You have that extra inch you can make your body go. Stretch that body, stretch the muscles, and breathe. Do two more of those at your pace, and remember to give that extra little stretch. All of our movements are slow, steady with your breath. Like aerobic or exercise, we do three. You know, there's lots of threes in the world. Earth, fire, and wind. All kinds of things that are threes. And in between any move or postures that we make or poses, take your let your hands rest on your lap and take that breath, cleansing breath. thing you're thinking about is your movements. We're going to take both hands up, overhead, and we're going to arch them back slightly behind your head. And then we're going to bring them back to the center and back down. Inhaling up, arching back. In 
again, coming back to the overhead, exhaling back down. You can get the rhythm of the flow of your breath. We're stretching our upper body and your arms. This time when you bring both arms up, I want you to clasp your hands together. And you're gonna let one arm come up close to your ear and you're gonna drop your clasped hands down to the other side. Oh, that feels so good. Feeling that stretch in the arms, all of the arms, taking your breaths and bringing it back up to the top. Exhaling and let's bring it down to the other side. Keeping that elbow straight as close to your ear. It may not come close to your ear. You may have some arthritis in your shoulders that won't work this, but if you try, every time you try it, you'll get a little closer to your ear. You'll get that elbow up just a little bit straighter. Maybe you'll get this elbow down a little bit more, which gives you that stretch. Every time you do this, you'll improve. And you'll feel your body stretching more and the goodness that feels. Last one on this side. And up. Last one on this side. Let your arms come down. Let them rest on your lap as you take that nice cleansing breath in and out. We've worked your upper body, so we're going to let your shoulders and your arms rest for a little bit. I want you to scoot to the closer to the edge of your chair and extend your leg and your foot. Sitting up tall and then gently come down, sliding your hand down your top of your leg. If you can only get to your shin or your knee, that's okay. If you can go down and reach down to your toes, that's great. But don't feel that you have to do that. Holding it for a few seconds and then sliding it back up. And then reversing that leg. One knee and one leg works differently. We all have arthritis and everything in different spots, different locations, and different sides of our body. We don't have the same pains and joints and everything on each side. So one leg may stretch out really good and straight and pull those toes up toward the ceiling. And the other leg may just not straighten out at all. You may have much more bend to it. But this helps stretch those joints, stretch your body, stretch it out. And you have one more at your own pace on each side. And this is your last one. Reaching down. You may have noticed an improvement just from the first time you reached to the second time you, and the third time you've reached. We're gonna, again, stay with our feet. We're gonna circle your ankles and then counterclockwise. I've noticed during this stay home and shelter in place, I've done a little bit more knitting than I did in my yoga socks. And then bring them back. We're going to hold on to the sides of your chair a little bit here. We're just going to move your legs, sort of windshield wipers, side to side. And then rest your feet. Take that breath. You're going to reach around and grab the back of the chair. And you're going to lean forward, not waist, hip joint. Your hip is your hinge, not your waist. You're going to lean forward, holding onto the back of the chair to support you and hold you. Then you're going to squeeze your shoulders. You're actually going to open the chest. Open the chest, open the heart. Take that breath, squeezing the shoulders together and opening that chest. Hold this pause posture for two more breaths. You may need to relax out of it. It's okay but then go back into it and breathe. 
This is great for bringing that stretch to your shoulders, to your chest, to your shoulder blades. Gently take your right hand, put it on the outside of your left knee. Your other hand, your left left hand, is going to come to the back of the chair, and you are going to twist your entire waist. So your hips are staying straight, but from your waist up, you are twisting, turning. You can use the chair to help pull you back. Even your head's going to turn, and you're going to even be able to look. Try to look behind you with your eyes. So you're not only stretching your waist, your vertebrae, your shoulders, your neck, you're going to stretch your eyes as well. And then bring it back to the center. Always we have to do the other one. Take your left hand to the outside of the right knee, grab the back of the chair, and twist. What you want to think of your spinal cord as a spiral staircase. It's turning, just like those spiral staircase. It's going to wrap around and turn. Looking all the way over behind your shoulder. And then gently come back to the center. Relax. You're going to take one leg out to the side and just let it stretch out. One leg is facing, and this one is facing. They're both facing the long ways of your mat or facing in front of you, but you're stretching. You bring your arms out, and you're gonna look, turn your head and look at those fingertips all the way out there. Keeping your arms shoulder high, palms flat, arms straight. Eyes are focusing on those fingertips. And then bring your leg back in the center and take your breath. We're going to expand your other leg out. You can come to the ed more of the edge of the chair, straight. Bringing your arms out. Now you're going to look at the fingertips that your leg is not extended. So the leg that's underneath of you seated is where you're going to turn your head and look at those fingertips now. This is much of a modified warrior stance. There's several ways you can do that. In a chair. You're going to bring your arms out straight in front of you, and you're going to grab as if you're rowing a boat. You're going to pull them all the way back to your underarms. You're going to push out as you inhale. Grab and exhale. Push out. Grab and exhale. Let your arms rest. We're going to rotate your shoulders up and down, back and down. One at a time. We're going to do one shoulder at a time. Doesn't matter which one you start with. If you're facing me, you'll do it probably as a mirror image with me. So when I'm moving my left, you're probably moving your right. Okay, now we're gonna bring them up, forward, and down. So before you moved them up and back, now we're moving them forward and forward. Another arm, another shoulder. We've stretched quite a bit from you in this short period of time. So I just want to do one more thing before we go into our relaxation. You're sitting sort of in the center or closer to the front of the chair. So I want you just to bring your arms up. And this is called the rocking chair. You're going to rock back, but you're not going to let your back touch the chair. Oh, I'm getting close. I'm getting close. I'm going to hold that and then come back up. Realizing that this is tightening all your core. This is a great core muscle strengthening. Pull, rock back. You know the chair's back there. You can almost feel it, but it's not touching you yet. Hold it and up. One more time, last time, and back. And up. Now remember, yoga is breathing, stretching, and relaxation. We've done a good job of stretching limited as it was on the chair, but we'll, the more we do, the more we'll keep on going and stretching a little bit more. We're going to eventually go to the mat, 
but there will always be a chance, an opportunity to stay in the chair if you don't feel you can get down to your floor. You don't have to have a yoga mat, you have carpet, anything soft. You wanna make sure you're not on your hard knees and things. You might even want a pillow with you sometimes when you're on the floor. So we're gonna let your hands rest on your lap. Now I do want you to close your eyes. Gently take those breaths in and out, in the nose and out the mouth. I want you to picture like your happy place or something that gives you soothness and calmness. It might be laying on the sand in the beach, listening to the waves roll up. It might be a grassy field, feeling the grass under your feet and on your back as if you're laying on the grass. It might be under a tree. There might be some pine needles, some softness there on the ground. Just breathe and think. Picture that. Get a vivid image of that picture in your mind. With your next breath in, I want you to think of what you might smell. What are you smelling there in that grove? Is it the sea salt air? Is it the slight scent of pine? Honeysuckle is blooming this time of year. You can smell that oftentimes if you're outside in lilacs. You have that image in your mind and you have that smell. Think about what you are hearing. Are you hearing water, waves, trickle of a, of a brook or a stream over the rocks? What are you hearing? the rustling of the, of the leaves on the trees. Maybe it's higher grass, wheat that's flowing and you hear it moving. Maybe you hear a bird. Maybe you hear lots of birds. Or maybe you just hear a rustling as if there's a small creature growing, crawling. It's okay, you're in your house but your mind is drifting away to a place that all your worries and your stress can go there with it. You're relaxing, you're breathing. And the only thing you're thinking about is your breath. Don't let anything come in your mind. If your grocery list comes to your mind, let it float away on the next cloud. If the return phone call from that message that was on your machine, let it float away. You'll have time to call it another day. During this time of stress, we need to relax. We need to breathe. We need to find that inner peace, knowing that our world will go on and it will all be safe again soon. So let yourself, your mind, all of your senses, whether you're hearing, feeling, seeing, and touching. Let your senses come alive. You can stay here as long as you wish until you really feel comfortable but when you're ready to bring yourself back to your room, back to your space, you can wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingers, slowly roll your head from side to side, ear to shoulder, ear to shoulder, chin to chest, and gently roll it side to side along the chest. And gently, whenever you're ready, you can open your eyes, find that you are safe and secure, and that there'll be another day and you can breathe. I am so proud of you for giving yourself this time. I honor you that you were able to do that. Give yourself this time of breath, relaxation, and stretching all for yourself. We need to heal ourselves before we can heal the world around us. Thank you.